Welcome to Cyprus, the perfect country for cycling. Today I travel to Limassol to the Inex Club to learn firsthand from a professional cyclist why Cyprus is perfect for living and training. Meet Ilnur Zakarin, winner of stages of the Tour de France, Giro d'Italia and third place in the 21-day long tour of Spain. He has participated in two Olympics, has been cycling for 22 years and has been living in Cyprus for 10 years. He is now getting into triathlon, developing the Inex Club in Limassol and genuinely believes Cyprus is one of the best places to live and train. The weather is consistently good here. When you go into the mountains, there are very few cars. In two hours, you can probably see two pickup trucks. There are swimming pools and many stadiums in every big city. As if Cyprus was made for cycling and triathlon. We will get to know the club, look in the bike shop and workshop and have a coffee in a cafe with healthy food for athletes. I also asked Ilnur to recommend the best place to live in Cyprus. He introduced me to Leta's family park, a gated community in Paphos, and showed me a modern villa with a swimming pool and five bedrooms to live with the family. Ilnur also shared his experience finding a place to live and property in Cyprus. Great forests, wonderful nature, blue lagoon, it's all in Paphos. The perfect balance is being away from the noise and having access to the sea. I need to have a detached house to live with my family. I need a gym where I can put an exercise bike with a screen to participate in virtual competitions. It is super important to me, and I need extra space. So, do you want to know how to start your life in Cyprus, live by the sea and train professionally? Annex Club offers daily group training sessions and the most popular routes where you go with a coach and an escort car. The club is open to everyone. You can buy or rent a bike that is appropriate for you, depending on your preferences and level. Ilnur, what is your favorite bike? Since I am a road cyclist, I prefer a road bike and a time trial bike. And the bike brand? When I was a professional cyclist, we constantly had bikes imposed on us. The team has a contract with the brand, and you can't ride a different bike. After finishing my career, I analyzed manufacturers and brands as I went uphill on different powers and looked at the benefits. I really like the Arum bike. It's a Spanish brand by former cyclist Alberto Contado. What is the best bike for beginners? If I want to try cycling for the first time, which bike should I choose? We have many amateurs in our club who are new to cycling, and I don't recommend buying the most expensive bike right away. Maybe you won't like it, and it will be like in the story when you buy the most expensive trainers, put them in the locker and never go for a run. For two to three thousand euros, you can buy a simple carbon bike and ride it. If you like it, you can always upgrade or change the bike to a lighter one. What is the most expensive bike in your shop? This is the bike from the Swiss brand BMC. We recently signed an exclusive distribution contract with them. They have exclusive, limited edition, hand-built bikes. There are only 100 of them in the world. We've already sold two of them. They cost about 25,000 euros. Can I rent a bike at the club? Come to Cyprus for a week's holiday and rent all the equipment. Yes, you can rent a bike, helmet or computer. It is better to buy shoes, shorts and a cycling top. It's a matter of hygiene. Are electric bikes popular? Yes, electric bikes are gaining popularity in the world now. For example, if I want to ride with my wife or friends who have nothing to do with sports, they can take an electric bike and ride with me on an equal level in the mountains or plains. Just two days ago, a group of beginners came to us, rented seven electric bikes, tried them and were very satisfied. They were riding in the mountains in the area of Paphos. Where are the most beautiful routes in the mountains? It's the side of Paphos. The forest, the Blue Lagoon. It's the most beautiful and scenic there. But here, you can also go up towards Trodos. It's 2,000 meters above sea level. 
There are pine forests, and it is also very beautiful. In addition to the bikes in the shop, you can buy clothes, shoes and cycling accessories from the world's leading brands. I made the lettering myself. I spent few days making the stencils, choosing the fonts, and scrubbing the paint. The idea here is that the steps represent the 15 highest peaks in cycling. The higher the steps, the higher the peaks. From the lowest point in Spain at Covadongo to Paso Stelvio at 2,758 meters. Have you cycled them all? We have three grand tours, in France, Italy and Spain. And I've raced all those mountains. On the first floor are lockers for club members, a gym and massage rooms. When was the club established? We opened in February 2023 and have just turned one year old. How is the club organized? How many members do you have already? And how much does membership cost? Our format allows cyclists, triathletes and runners to become members of our club. We offer sports massage, a cafe, a workshop and fitness classes. As part of the INEX club, we organize six morning training sessions a week before work. Your bike is already here, you arrive in the morning, get changed and ride with the group. You have a coach, mechanic and an escort car traveling with you. Different days offer different routes, different training levels and different distances. You work out with the coach, come back, shower, have a coffee and go to work. All training sessions are held from 7.30 to 9.30 in the morning, so you get a good workout and go to work with much energy. Do you have training for beginners? Yes, we have training for beginners. On Sundays, we have an open training session for everyone at any level for 50 kilometers. On Tuesday and Thursday, we have lighter training, on Wednesday and Friday, we train hard, and some people prepare for amateur competitions. Do you train yourself? Yes, I do. But I'm in, in a dilemma. I'm a professional cyclist and don't want to compete in amateur events because you're taking away someone's well-deserved victory. It's not fair. So I decided to do a triathlon, to add running and swimming, which I've never done before. And now I'm training for a triathlon. How much does a membership cost? Membership can be purchased for a month or a year. It costs 300 euros per month, including all training sessions with a coach and support plus discounts on all services, and each subsequent month costs less. If you buy an annual membership, it costs 150 euros per month. Do you have any activities for children? Yes, we have a program for children. It's an exciting story of how we came up with the club idea. We organize charity events for children from single parent and low income families. We brought them to Cyprus and paid for the whole trip, including flights and accommodation. We introduced them to cycling. After this event, we were inspired and decided to create a club. And we made a children's program from the very beginning. We have special bikes for children of different sizes and helmets for girls and boys. We've thought through all the details and have exceptional instructors who teach the kids. At what age can children start cycling? From four to five years old, you can start in a game form. The child needs to be fascinated by some stories. For example, imagine there is lava and you must stop. You're teaching him to slow down. Children should be attracted to sports through games. If you compare Cyprus with old Europe, with Italy, Spain, Portugal and the south of France, what are the advantages of Cyprus for cycling and triathlon? And are there any advantages? I have traveled to many countries in my career. I lived for a while in Italy before Cyprus. I lived on Lake Garda. My wife and I lived there for one year. And I wouldn't say I liked it very much because of the many tourists and the heavy traffic, especially in the summer. You can't go to the mountains because of the traffic. So I moved to Cyprus nine years ago to give it a try, and from the first year, I really liked it. In Cyprus, when you go to the mountains, there are practically no cars. 
You work in peace, and you don't worry about safety. In five hours, you can see two pickup trucks in the mountains. All the cars drive along the seafront here, so you have to drive carefully into the hills, and there are no cars there. There are swimming pools and many stadiums in every big city. It is as if Cyprus was made for cycling and triathlon. The weather is always good. In many European countries, it is cold, even snowing, but here it is 20 degrees Celsius in February. And what are the disadvantages of Cyprus? If you give me time, I'll think of something, but so far I can't come up with any disadvantages. Is it expensive to live in Cyprus? Yes, it is expensive to live here. When you have a family, children, private schools, yes, it's costly. This year my dad died, my wife's mum died, and I had a goal to win some competitions and raise my hands in honour of them, to honour them with a victory. And here I was, almost winning the race, I had only to cross the finish line, and at the last moment, he cut me off just centimetres away. So the story was passed to Spain, where I stood on the podium in Madrid and dedicated my victory to them. Six months apart. There is also a workshop in the club where your bike can be fixed or prepared for training and competitions. We have two mechanics working here who fit all the bikes. This is my Arum bike. The mechanics are preparing it for training now. And these are the electric bikes. You still have to pedal, but the electric motor helps you keep the speed up. They can ride up to 60 kilometers on a single charge. How long does it take to charge? It takes three and a half hour to charge, but we'll have an extra replacement battery here so it can go up to 120 kilometers. That's more than enough. A standard bike weighs about eight kilograms. You spend much money to make the bike lighter with a lighter frame, lightweight wheels, stem, seat post and saddle. By upgrading, we got 6 kilograms 300 grams, the weight of a fully assembled bike. It's a very light bike. After cycling, having a coffee or snack is a good idea to regain your calories. What should I eat in Cyprus to stay fit? I never thought about it because my wife is a nutritionist and has always supported me with nutrition on my journey as a professional athlete. I'm fortunate with that. The local cuisine, of course, is greasy. However, when we meet with friends, we eat it, too, to taste life on the island. What is the most popular dish for cyclists at your cafe? We have training every morning from 7.30 to 9.30 before work, so breakfast is very popular. The cafe opens at 7.30, which is rare in Cyprus, and we have omelettes and different porridges ordered. And after a good workout, we have four types of pasta, which helps compensate for the carbohydrates you've consumed. Is it okay to drink wine during a workout? Not during a workout. Because your concentration changes, and you can hurt yourself. But afterwards, yes, it's perfectly acceptable. I'm primarily interested in choosing a place to live, so I asked Ilnur to recommend a place and the development that, from his point of view, would be ideal for living and training. So we traveled to Paphos the next day to see the gated community Lettuce Family Park. Ilnur showed me a modern villa close to the sea with five bedrooms, a swimming pool and a basement where you can make a gym. Ilnur explained why he likes Paphos, its advantages over Limassol, and whether it is worth buying property in Cyprus. How long have you been living in Cyprus? My wife and I have been living here for almost nine years. Paphos or Limassol? For cyclists and athletes, where is the best place to live? This is the Paphos area. I think Paphos is much better for cycling because of the pine forests, the beautiful nature, and the blue lagoon. There are many routes here, and for cycling, this part of the island and the Paphos area is much more picturesque and better. To buy or rent a property in Cyprus? If you can, it is better to buy. 
a house or a flat, which is more comfortable. As I have three children, it is very important for me and my family to have a house. What do you prefer, to live right by the sea or a bit further away? In my opinion, this place is the perfect balance to be away from the noise and still have access to the sea. You can see the sea very well from here. And since I'm into triathlon now, the sea is easily accessible, you can cycle down there and swim. To live in a long-standing house or a gated community? Living in a gated community is ideal. Everyone knows each other, and it is much safer. Is it difficult to find a house with a good layout in Cyprus, so that there are enough bedrooms and bathrooms? In Cyprus, you often can't adapt anything to your needs in ready-to-move houses or flats. You have to live with what you have. This villa had a free layout from the beginning, which could be customized to your needs. If you want a fourth child, you can plan ahead and reserve a place in the house. These villas have a very spacious basement. Some people make a cinema there, others a playroom. As a professional athlete, how would you set up your basement? I would make a gym there, minimalist, but with the equipment I need. I would put up an exercise bike with a screen, so I could participate in virtual competitions. It is very important to me, and I need extra space for it. How much does the villa cost in such a community? This villa, where we are now, costs about 2 million euros. Can we see the villa? Yes, please, you are welcome. As we enter the villa from the pool side through the panoramic sliding glass door, we enter the spacious living room with an open-plan kitchen. If you wish, the house can offer five bedrooms. Next to the staircase, on the second level, there is a shared bathroom with a shower. There are three bedrooms on this level. The main bedroom is at the end of the corridor and has an ensuite bathroom. The main bedroom is spacious and airy and has a private terrace. The rooms feature large built-in wardrobes. Let's go one level up to a spacious rooftop terrace with a jacuzzi and sea views. The villa's basement has a large room where you can set up a gym, playroom or home cinema. There is also a bathroom and a laundry room. Thanks to the well thought out architecture and layouts, even the basement room gets natural light through the large windows. Now let's return to the living room and talk to Ilnur about life with the family in Cyprus. Cyprus, for cycling and sport in general, is a very cool place. 364 sunny days a year. Isn't it too hot in the summer? Indeed, it can be really hot in the summer. But for me, in sports, it was an advantage. When I was here preparing for the Tour de France in the summer, it was very hot, 40 to 50 degrees Celsius. When I came to the Tour de France, it was an abnormal heat of 35 degrees, everyone was sweating and lagging, and I was very comfortable. How long did it take you to adapt to life in Cyprus? I first considered Cyprus a place for training, with no cars and good weather. And whichever place I chose, I would still have to adapt to a new place and environment and find new friends. But the adaptation was rapid. And even now, after the end of my career, I stay here, because I like it. And your wife, is she comfortable here? It was tough for my wife initially, especially the first year. Finding new friends, adapting to a new place and environment. But now it's all worked out. In many ways, thanks to Inex Club, where there are many couples. And for both guys and girls, it's a very positive and healthy community, which makes it easy to make new friends and adapt here in Cyprus. Do you already speak Greek? No, in Cyprus, you can communicate in English and even in Russian. But I would like to learn Greek. My children already speak Greek, and I take them with me if I need a translation. The best school for children in Cyprus – a public school or an international school? There are Greek public schools in Cyprus where you can send your children to study. 
My children are in a British school. My daughter is in second grade, and my son is finishing preschool in the Waldorf system and will soon go to first grade. He is learning in a very creative environment. You often hear criticism of schools in Cyprus that you cannot compare to the UK or schools in big capitals. How do you feel about this? I have no problems with local education and local schools. The only nuance is that you are immediately called to the school if someone complains about your child. I had to go to school 90 times in the first year because my son is very active, and teachers called me to talk and deal with some situations. Initially, I thought this was a disadvantage of the local approach because I had to go to school all the time, but then I adapted, and now I believe it's reasonable. If not Cyprus, which country would you choose? I had many of my sporting achievements in Spain. So, if not Cyprus, I would prefer to live in Spain. What are your professional plans for the coming years? We opened the INEX club a year ago, and I devote all my time and energy to its development to make it better and more well-known, and to turn it into a significant international project. We already have 100 members who cycle regularly, plus guests and visitors. We plan to turn the club into the most popular place in Cyprus for lovers of cycling, running, swimming, triathlon and other sporting activities. So, do you want to live in Cyprus? Please write in the comments. And if you need help finding a new home or moving to Cyprus, feel free to message me on WhatsApp or Telegram. All my contacts are in the video description. And like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel so you won't miss anything exciting in the future. That's it for today and I look forward to welcoming you in Cyprus.